Hello YouTube, got a new toy. Got the Digital Torque Wrench by Yellow Jacket, model number 60648. Comes in a nice little plastic case here. I needed a torch wrench, a torque wrench because I do work with a lot of diking equipment and when you've got to tighten up the flare nuts or you're supposed to tighten them up to specs and not over tighten them and cause a flare to crack or not be tight enough, cause it to leak. Either way, they will leak, not tight enough or over tightening them. But uh, I did a little research and I saw the Black Max digital torque wrench and I saw the Yellow Jacket torque wrench. And I just like Yellow Jacket brand a little better. And uh, I thought, you know, the price was right. It was $147.99 off of an eBay seller. Uh, I can't remember the name of the seller. I'll put a link in the description to uh, to this item. There it is in all its glory. It has a range of 30 millimeters to, down to 5 millimeters. Kind of hard to see with the glare there. It's the way up. There we go. 35. Adjustable wrench style. Easy to adjust. You don't have to have multiple heads, you just have the one. It's got a plus or minus 2% um, accuracy compared to 4%, plus or minus 4 that uh, the, the kind that pop, you know, the, the one that has the different heads, like the CPS Pro Set. Um, digital, obviously, you activate it by turn, pressing C, and it turns it on. If you happen to have pressure on the unit when you turn it on, it'll, it'll, it'll be out of calibration. So in order to recalibrate it, you press C in the up arrow, and it recalibrates it. The memory function is kind of interesting. I was messing around with this, and I didn't, I didn't realize how it worked. Um, you, you can actually, let's say I want number four to be 35. Change it to 35. Hold it down and runs on its own. Okay. Let's say, let's go back around to memory four and let's see if it changed to 35. There it is. So whatever memory you have it on, it will it will keep that setting. So if you have normally with uh, like the dike and stuff, the larger like half inch and five eighths will have like one torque setting, and then your smaller ones will have a torque setting. So if you've got ten torque settings on this, so you can probably put these into memory and have what you need and store it into the memory and keep it there. Um, you can also change your style of. Uh, reading here, your setting. Newton meters, that's what a lot of the times the Daikin stuff has. But you can also have inch pounds, foot pounds, and kilogram centimeters. So if I, I believe the, the setting is 85 is the top. Let's uh, go through and see if I have one closer to 85. Okay, there's 85. That is the top, and then you go higher than that, and it's 4.2, that's the bottom. So, let's look at the lowest range, inch-pounds, 37 inch-pounds, 3.1 foot-pounds, 43 kilogram centimeters. Okay, let's go to 85. 752 inch-pounds, 62.7 foot-pounds, 867 kilogram centimeters. All right. Uh, there is no off button on this. It times out after five minutes. It is rated for 85 Newton meters, 110% uh, above that. If you torque it, if you put more torque on it than 80, like whatever, 100, and, what is 10% uh, more, eight and a half. So 
90, if you went 94 newton meters with this, that's over 110% that would cause to lose accuracy and out of calibration. So you don't want to wrench the crap out of it. This does not pop like your old ones. This one just has lights. Green, 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 red. When it hits red, it's your, your setting has been matched. It's got a loud tone to it. So you're up in the ceiling. So you're ready to go at it. actually show your uh, reading start lighting up when it starts getting there and there you go once you hit red you're torqued pretty simple pretty simple to use uh, takes two AAA batteries there's four screws in the back and they provide a handy little screwdriver to take the screws out with they supply two batteries, so it comes with batteries. Nice carrying case. A little quick start guide. Focus. Thank you. Nice little guide there. Tells you how to put the batteries in. Tells you about the wrench, you know, the sleep mode, how to reset it, what all your buttons do. So, pretty simple. It tells you not to go over 110%. Could cause breakage or loss of accuracy. And I like the how they spelled ac uh, of PF. Nice. <sighs> What are you gonna do? But anyway, sweet little little sweet and short review of the yellow jacket 60648 digital torque wrench. Very, very heavy, doesn't feel cheap. Um, manufacturer, I do not know, does not say. I'm not going to assume it's made in the USA because it's really not that expensive. Do not know where it's made. Don't see any. Oh, and look here. Didn't even notice this. On the back you have your increments. So it will go... Looks like past it, like inch and a quarter, inch and... Uh, three-eighths wow so inch and three-eighths on that side down two. see how far down it'll go three-eighths of an inch so three-eighths to inch and three-eighths quite a range it's nice so you've got your scale on that side for your standard and your metric really doesn't matter because you're pretty much going to dial it down to whatever you need to make it fit but anyway there is a short review unboxing so to speak of the yellow jacket digital torque wrench i hope this has been informative and helpful i haven't seen a video of this torque wrench it's hard to find on youtube so i thought i'd post one so y'all have a good night and thanks for watching